hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel we're just gonna do a quick review on something that i saw on showbiz cheat sheet they had did an article titled portia family matters beats out real housewives of salt lake city and overall rating surprising fans of the real housewives franchise and i'm like i don't know why they were surprised <laughs> portia single-handedly okay made TV go bad in the eyes of reality TV. She brought in all the no-nos that you would want to get to see on reality TV. Unless you were looking at a wrestling show or you were looking at something like Jerry Springer or whatever. They allowed her to do all of these mishaps and these misdeeds and these detrimental things that you would never want to do to elders okay we all know when portia was on real housewives of atlanta and kenya and all her props tormented her we all knew portia was about them hands okay even though she just grabbed kenya's head and slung it to the floor with her whole body and dragged her to a position where she sat down and cried next to her uh, what you call that assault? Most people would. But in Portia's eyes, she was just trying to make Kenya stop. And the only way she could get to Kenya was to sling her down on the floor. And we ain't going to talk about, well, yes, we are going to talk about, when they had their madam thing, when they had their theme where they were out there trying to celebrate uh, Cynthia Bailey's upcoming nuptials. They get things for a brighter party. And Candy Burris was a part of the setup scene of you know, trying to do something erotic, sexual, sensual for Cynthia, you know? And so they all pretty much act like little hoes running around now, interested part. And then it went a little too far. They had a stripper come in, and the stripper took his job a lot more serious than anyone had anticipated him doing. Okay, because quiet as his quail, Lord, I'm going to speak it out. They said Portia, Tanya, Shamia. Uh, Shamar, not Shamari, but what her name, Drew Sador, they were getting a taste on with Bolo, okay? Blame it on the a a a alcohol, but Candy wasn't throwing nobody under the rug. No, she was not. She was just talking like she heard some, you know, noises in there that only come from good sex or love making, okay? And Portia's name was written all over this. Yes, it was. She was getting her freak on, allegedly. And anyway, she was supposed to have been still engaged, still connected to Dennis McKinley. So that may be what was coming in when Miss Gina was saying that Portia had cheated while she was supposed to have been dating her son. Or hell, it could have been another man. But this is where I'm going with my theory, okay? So... When you have a mixture of an activist turned a track star turned taken up for her cousin in a sense to blackmail or maybe not blackmail is too strong of a word but to put her daughter's father in a bad light um, and then you're sleeping with a stripper while you're dating your daughter's husband i mean your daughter's father and you're trying to make this beautiful family in your head but it's so many pieces that just don't fit to make that beautiful picture because both of y'all were cheaters okay let's call a spade a spade how miss gina dennis mom would say both of y'all cheated admit to it move on okay stop trying to play the victim then you're throwing a mixture of taking someone's husband going with him and the divorce papers are not even signed. Okay, so Miss Gina had a lot to talk about and say about you, negative Portia, because she's putting two and two together. The woman is not feeble in her mind. She's pretty smart. Then we have to talk about your mom and dad. Their raising patterns was totally different from what Miss Gina raised her son, Dennis, your baby's father. Okay, and look how you treated Dennis on this last final scene. So the Raiders couldn't help but go through the roof because you were all about them hands. You were trying to beat up on senior citizens or trying to lunge at them, creating a hostile environment. I mean, what was Soft Lake City giving over there? Were they doing all these things? Were they throwing plates, knives, spoons, forks, 
mic equipment, people in the air, uh, uh, oh, we call it stage equipment where they hidden producers. Uh, this was like a match made in heaven if you just wanted to see rat ratchetness go on and pro probably assault charges wanting to be filed but couldn't be. And she was magic over there. If you wanted ratchetness at its finest, at its best, and you want to drive up your ratings no matter what, forget the Salt Lake City. Just put Portia on another show. Because she is going to give you all ratchetness to the fullest. She's going to disrespect any elder in the house. She's going to be violent. And she's going to be about them hands. But you just can't prosecute them. So if you want all this, I keep telling you know, people who would listen to me in my family and in my YouTube family, go on and have her and Nene sign up for the Zeus Network. It will be on and popping over there. Forget that lady. Forget, uh, I think, Mary Crosby it is that's trying to show out and show up for Salt Lake City uh, panel of Housewives. Forget that. She, Portia single-handed alone. Would have beat Real Housewives of Atlanta. Her old stuff around. And on top of that. Took Salt Lake City down. From her show. They gave her that she only had one season. It was just that hot and fire. And bothered. And uh, rating breaking. They had to take the show off the air. They didn't give her a reunion. Talking about blowing up in your face. And your bags being questioned. Or whether you're going to collect some more. From Bravo. That's what you got Portia. That's what we looking at at Portia. So if she burnt them ratings. Or drove them ratings up. Look what she had to do. Check out the video. The clips. And all of what I've told you. That's why them ratings went up. Now if you appreciate entertainment. At it's finest. What Portia was giving. Shit tune in. Right in the Bravo. Say forget lawsuits and all of that. You just got to keep seeing what you're seeing when it comes to Portia Williams. Put her on another show. And I'm telling you, no offense brought to her at this point. She don't care how she looks out there in the world. She just wants the money to be able to live in a lap of luxury that she's been accustomed to. Okay? I don't personally know what these ladies could offer compared to what was going on over at uh, Portia's Family Values because she was knocking down how they say the fourth wall, fifth wall, sixth wall she had forgot the cast and the producers she just went straight for the executives saying look at here, look at here y'all need to pay up y'all need to drop me some more coins what, what we gonna do they said what we gonna do honey are you crazy we're going to terminate you pretty much. We're going to end your contract. We're going to send you on your merry way. Hopefully you can pick up Nene. And while y'all strolling down the street. Y'all can go stop at the Zeus Network. And have them hook y'all up. Because you're too volatile. You're too loud mouth. You, 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 we can't control you. You can't control yourself. We don't send you to anger management. Classes. Thinking you would learn something. But you over there trying to fight your real family. On TV, you're making them miserable. You're making them not look good on camera. And then you want us to do something about it. When you done showed us all what you can give us. That we didn't even ask for. We didn't tell you to take it this far. You did this on your own merit. So Zeus work. She's in the streets again. Please take her up. Because from the streets we found her to the streets, we we're returning her back, both her and Nene Leakes. Okay, you probably want to throw Phaedra Pauls on there as well. Don't know. Okay, because she did some infringement herself. <laughs> but let's go on and see what Showbiz Cheat Sheet was saying. Okay, they go in to say the Real Housewives franchise provides a platform for stars to launch successful entertainment careers. They forgot to say the ratchetness and it will destroy your original family. Okay, but hey, if you love the money, for the love of money, you will steal from your brother. Okay, The Real Housewives of Atlanta is no exception. In fact, a spinoff of the Georgia-based series is overtaking the latest <coughs> adoration of the franchise. Uh, Portia Family Matters is beating The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City in overall ratings. Considering the drama, okay, 
and feuds that Portia Williams thrived in during her time on Roa, the star's solo success may not sit well with her former co-stars. The ratings battle has certainly shocked Real Housewives fans. Still, Williams' spinoff doesn't exactly cater to her, so it's hard to say how she's faring personally from the new Bravo show. Well, I can tell you how she's favoring. She sucks. To us, she's in the toilet because she's just made herself seem what Candy and, and, and um, what's her name, Kenya, was hollering about all, this, all along, even Marlo, okay? But we weren't listening because we couldn't see that other side. But Kenya and Candy are somewhere laughing, laughing their asses off. So we try to tell y'all, we try to tell y'all about Miss Portia. Me and Portia wasn't as kosher as y'all thought, but y'all tried to baby her when she slung me down on the floor and everything. Y'all were like, give her, give her a break, give her a break. She did candy about their dungeon situation. Y'all will. Y'all wanted to give her a break and y'all asked Portia, I mean, uh, Phaedra, think that Portia was simply innocent. But looky, 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 who comes cooking and show up and tear up her own show and the ratings go through the roof. And can you... I'm pretty sure she wouldn't really like Portia coming back, but she'll make it a storyline. they a damn sure be trying to tear Portia up. Be wanting her to talk about this, that, and the third. And then if she didn't want to talk about it, you know how twirl get down? She'll find a way for her to talk about it. And Candy will be right by Kenya's side. Because, <laughs> you know, they had an alliance while Portia was there. But Cynthia's gone. And, you know, Portia is, uh, she's a, what do you call it? A thunderstorm by herself. Okay, but the only thing that's different from what Nene says that Portia needs to capture is don't put shit on camera. Well, Nene, you kind of fell short too when you uh, popped that man's tooth out when he was trying, the cameraman on the production team, when you popped his tooth out. Okay, and you was trying to say you didn't do it, but you actually did do it. You know what you were doing. You had told a man's shirt off and everything. That's why the best network for you and Portia to be a part of is the Zeus Network. I'm going to say it again. Zeus Network. Look it up. Have some conferences, calls, or whatever since COVID's out there. Get some bookings with them and see what y'all can come to as an agreement as far as financial uh, displacement. Okay? But anyway. Going back to the story at hand, it says things have certainly changed since Williams first appeared on Roa. When she entered season 5, she was married to an NFL star, Cordell Stewart. The newlyweds appeared together on the series, but there was trouble in paradise. Many saw Stewart's treatment of Williams as chauvinistic. Uh, chauvinistic. His instance that he... Well, I mean, his insistence that she not work outside of the home drew criticism and laid the groundwork for their eventually split or eventual split. In season seven, Williams appeared as a friend of rather than a main cast member, but she returned to be a main character for season eight and stayed there until she left the show after season thirteen. Okay, and that's when her bright blue well, her bright brown eyes blew up and she saw dollar 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 signs because they wanted to give her own, own special and here we are almost a year later shit still don't blow up in her face i'm sure she's getting um what do you call it income from it but it's <laughs> you know it ain't like a lucrative revenue stream because they canceled her reunions because her family was so outraged with her and the misinterpretation of what, how and what the premise of them being there was told totally told to them totally different and all of them look like fools all of them look like uh like they were lost in space like Portia had dealt them a, a bad hand or something and all of them look like fools but of course Portia was the main fool out of all of them you know what I'm saying but they didn't want to look crashed and burnt. You know, they wanted to probably get on another reality show or something. Because this was like their foundation, their stepping stone. But how Portia made all of them look and herself look, who would really want to put them in any type of reality show? Because they couldn't deliver because Portia was going behind the scenes telling them what they could do, what they could do. And then producers got a hold of it and they blast her out for that. Okay, so it's just a hot mess. A hot mess. But anyway, uh, it goes on to say the Atlanta native initially returned to Roa 
was not certain. Beloved Bravo producer and host Andy Cohen admits he almost fired her because he didn't know if she could handle being on the show as a divorced woman. A well-timed speech during a reunion special changed his mind. Cohen admits he underestimated Williams. After 10 years of successful years on the series, Williams announced her exit ahead of the season 14 premiere. Some people in the YouTube street said she asked for more money. Uh, they weren't willing to pay her that more money, so they got something else more creative. I don't know if she brought the idea to them or they brought the idea to her or it was a mutual agreement. But then they formed her first show that would air right after the Real Housewives of Atlanta or I don't forgot what it was to dry up the ratings. So any, everybody would be forced to look at it uh, because it was like they were giving you good pieces to look at it would draw you in but whether or not it kept you that would be a different thing and that's what they were gambling on by setting it up uh right after a, a heavy hidden show um uh, that was already had premiered prior to her show airing but anyway uh didn't really work out she only got one season and we can see why she only needed and only we only wanted one season for her because it was just that detrimental to anything of her character her family, how she portrayed her family, her lackluster of being total selfish. It was just too much, you know, for the human mind and the heart to absorb. But anyway, moving on from there, it says her somewhat hasty engagement to Simon. Well, we're going to not call him Simon. We're going to call him Yori, okay, because that's his name. Yori Gabadia, a former castmate ex-husband made her exit a dramatic one even as she thanked the show for all it gave her she teased her own solo project on bravo and of course you know how that went it was just a full-on brawl over there i mean it's just like the wild wild west we just didn't have guns but them paws was getting good at good at well her paws or her hands were getting good field action trying to connect to another person's body face neck whatever okay she was doing her due diligence over there okay then going back to the um um little write-up that showbiz did on her or her show i should say comparing it to salt lake city uh franchise of the real housewives um the real housewives franchise remains popular and the uh salt lake city has garnered a lot of fans as TV Deets reports, the series is getting a steady viewership of around 700,000 viewers each week. While that's not too shabby, those behind the flagship franchise are a little taken aback by the ratings performance of Portia Family Matters. Uh, Williams' solo spinoff has garnered more viewers on average, according to TV Line. In fact, the report speculates that Salt Lake City may undergo serious changes in order to boost popularity. As for Salt Lake City, the show continues to do well once delayed viewership is counted, <laughs> and is usually get your butt from over there. It's usually trends on social media during airings, so the show would definitely be back for season three. That said, expect some cast changes when it does return. So, basically, I guess on Salt Lake City, they're just trying to get rid of the dead weight. Uh, they show and prove who were the problem makers, who were the ones that weren't giving anything. And they're going to probably cut some heads and maybe bring on some new people. But the only reason why it matched up to Porsche's or Porsche's uh, show went over their ratings um was only because it was just so dramatic and had it had all the pieces of wanting somebody to come. it's like you were going to watch a ww uh what do you call it wild federation so, you know wrestling or you going to watch a good football game you know they was really at each other and they were going to show us a good match you know what i'm saying i'm gonna seem like a gladiator fight so when you got that to watch versus something subtle who you think the people gonna run to even if it ain't number 15 minutes of an hour show Okay, so that's where they got their ratings from. Porsche was over there fighting and carrying on. And they wanted to see the residue 
from or the remnants of that fight from last Sunday. You see what I'm saying? So that's what drove up the ratings. And if you want that kind of ratchet TV show, look Nene and Portia up because they'll hold you down every time. Okay? We're going back to and finishing up on this article that was written up. It said, Just what makes Portia Family Matters so popular? The series was built as focusing on William's activism -ness. And you see, that's what the premises of the show was, but that's not what we got from the middle to the end. And we just got a lot of ratchetness and a lot of things that went horribly wrong. And to talk here and there about the uh, work for the community, for a group of people, for a culture, it was hardly ever seen. Okay, it was just like little bits and snippets, but that was it. But the, the majority of the show was ratchetness, hand throwings, cussing, people just out of their character and their demeanor, mixing around with too many spiritualities. Uh, religions out there oh child it was just a hot mess a mixture of not what was supposed to be uh, populated on the show we, they gave us something totally different than what they were focusing on which was the active business of um, what Portia Williams was supposed to bring out about you know the Black Lives Matter her uh, grandfather's organ uh, food bank organization and just all that popular stuff that was good that feeds the soul you know what I'm saying a good humanitarian type of work but none of that was seen just debauchery just a whole lot of uh, shit starred just ooh just terrible 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 but anyway it says particular her part in the Black Lives Matter movement while these elements are touched upon Williams is not always shown in the best light okay facing pressing questions about her new relationship and co-parenting her doctor or her co-parenting her daughter with ex-partner Dennis McKinley Williams has definitely felt the pressure some fans have even called Williams the villain of her own story they uh, wonder if she regrets doing the show according to Urban Bell if she don't regret it we as viewers of the show fanatics or fans or however you place yourself to liking or disliking Portia yeah, it was very detrimental, and she should be ashamed of herself. Uh, but that's just our thoughts and our opinions, okay? But I'm pretty sure in some, in some part, she had to not like it because she went back trying to film more scenes or do more confessionals to uh, erase or to uh, tell her side of why things happened the way they did, okay? Try to make a spin, a positive spin on something that was all totally negative and uncalled for. I mean, going around now trying to attack a senior citizen. Are you kidding me? But anyway, going back to the article, it says, While the series might not be great for William's ego, it certainly has been a benefit for her bank account. The star has amassed a six million fortune thanks in no small part to the way she turned her role of success into a solo career. Now, if she did garner that much money on that one episode of a show, six million i'm sure she is hurting i'm sure she's probably having nightmares and everything else because they were like girl yeah you gave us something but we don't know what the hell we can do with it because we ain't got time to be facing no lawsuits with storm and all your cousin storm and all her accusations about what dennis did to her she out there citing sexual harassment she she, she out there citing uh, uh, uh domestic abuse abuse upon her y'all trying to get the man locked up in a mexico jail uh just too much litigation that you know i'm sure they met with their people their legal team and they probably said uh-uh we might can give her if it's even credible uh her wedding uh show uh maybe that but trying to resurrect this mess uh-uh they ain't touching it and if they do touch it they're gonna be somewhere long you know way down the road because they're gonna sit up there and cancel her two reunion episodes okay shit they, they ain't finna mess with portion mm -mm. mm -mm. i wouldn't mess with them tell you the truth i'm like honey go live your life go live your best life because when you make money and you 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 you're, you're flowing when the milk and honey save it save it because you got to save it for them rainy days especially when you are so unpredictable you know with your rage i mean you were raging on at your own cousins that you said you love you were just you know trying to manip manipulate them and they were just estranged. All, every, all your family members was totally estranged from you. So what does that tell you? What could that possibly tell you? Something in that milk ain't clean, ain't kosher. And now your family has to heal. Because if anything, they should give them a show. And have them say how you really treat them. How you really get down. 
Now, is it right to put her on the spot? Well, here she put y'all on the spot. She sold y'all a pipe dream about activism this, and y'all sit up here looking like y'all just fight all the time. Y'all fight like y'all were rumbling. Like, that's all thing y'all do is cat fight, fight for real, argue, cuss, fuss, and, and, and then separate yourselves for a while. Go into isolation from your family. It was just terrible, 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 terrible. But that's all I got on this video, guys. I just had to get my two cents in. Now I'm asking my family on YouTube to weigh in to see, uh, or, or put your two cents in, a dollar worth, uh, a chit chat combo on what y'all thought about. Would y'all agree that Porsche show damn well should have been out beat out everybody <laughs> that was on the uh format to be seen that night? Yes, her rating should have shot up and, and surpassed everybody from what she was giving us from her melting pot of soup on her Family Matters okay uh show versus anybody else that had to come up after her or before her okay she was gonna drive the ratings off and to the roof okay hell to the stratosphere but like i said if that's what you want to promote that's what you want to have your brand be about which is a lot of violence about a lot of lies a lot of deception a lot of manipulation then hell take it to the zeus network but don't have it on you know bravo Okay, they 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 tame. They they're kind of like low key shade and want a low key uh disruption, but not something like a, a, a erupting volcano that they won't be able to lure back in or settle down. You know what I'm saying? Mm -mm. Honey, when Porsche Williams start her fireworks, they gets the blazing. Okay, and you be trying to figure out well how and where and when can we get. Can we get a, a control or can we get control? Do we just need to just, you know, go to another planet or something? You know what I'm saying? Because this is definitely has been destroyed. And it's out, you know, it's, it's going to destroy more and more and more and grow and grow and grow. That's the fester, fester. And we ain't going to have a handle on it. No, we got to get rid of her. <laughs> and pretty much that's where it stands right now. Unless they're in back negotiation talks and they're trying to see how is it going to fare for the franchise by bringing her back to uh roa or trying to give her another show to partake of i mean ain't too much she can do other than not marry simon you know waste you know one or two episodes on that and then she just have an epiphany that she just don't want to be married to him or anybody at this time now does bravo really want to take that you know into consideration and wa waste all that time because from what we were hearing on the streets her show wasn't doing too well she had to you know put in a lot of more stuff that she probably didn't want to put in and that she didn't get uh clearance from her family to be uh brought in into a, another whole fictitious situation so right now we do know if the street is telling us correctly her family's not messing with her they ain't effing with her at all you know they just want they check what is they check cut them they check okay and then maybe maybe we can sit down but this happened in june and if they not speaking to each other now and this is like mm, seven months <laughs> child child no nah, i think she don't lost her family for now i ain't saying it's a total uh separation but now nah, some wounds need to heal and they you know they just need to get it together and everybody don't believe in that money uh as a force to get them to do in and everything some people do have morals still some people do have scruples about themselves and they don't want to be shown in a bad light that they have to go and you know explain to their real jobs and their real family members and their real friends you know do you really get down like that or this was just an acting thing and then you know what they're gonna say what are they gonna say when they see you out of character performing like somebody that they ain't never knew or saw in you when they had interactions okay that's what ratchet reality tv does to you you know you start seeing that money you knew you were acting ratchet as all get out to make that kind of money and you're like can you live with it is it something you can live with doing this you know for six months out the year that's just something you gotta ask yourself and let the cookies fall where they may. Alright. But that's all I got for this video guys. Hope y'all love it. Like it. Or you just can put up with it. Okay. <laughs> let me know how you feel in the comments. Do you think Portia show really turned up and turned out? For the better or for the worse? Let us sister know. Let a family member know over here. Okay. Because you know I always like to hear from y'all. Because I ain't always right. Okay. I ain't always right with my opinions. 
And some of y'all have to tell me, no, you need to look at it from this perspective. And I'm like, okay, okay. But, you know, Portia like that limelight. She like that dollar-dollar bill. She like people knowing who she is wherever she go and getting that red carpet treatment at restaurants, at events, at um, parties. She just love it. And she ain't ready to give it up for no buy tea. All right? But that's all I got for this video, guys. I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.